Happy Friday evening guys, uh, no doubt a lot of you have been working, so it's Friday night, you're ready for a beer and maybe to watch a beer review, although this might not be up till a lot later on, if not tomorrow morning. So uh, the beer review tonight is a, a German beer, so we're off to Munich, uh, I got this from Marks and Spencers and it's a bottle of a uh, Paulana Munchen Hells. Uh, coming in at 4.9% in a 500ml bottle. Uh, I think these are 250 each. And they were doing three for a fiver. So I got a bottle of this, a bottle of their Weiss beer, and a bottle of Czech Pilsner. So three for a fiver, bargain. Personally for me, most German beers are absolutely bang on. You can't really beat them. It takes some beating. Uh, I've had the Weiss beer before. Very good. Never had this. So I'm quite looking forward to this. Uh, had quite a few German lagers, and for me, they're the best, the best lagers in the world. They really do take some beating. Uh, so yeah, I think I've told you all the information. It's brewed with a, so yeah, brewed in accordance with the German pur purity law. I struggle to get that out, which basically means it's going to be a bloody good beer. There's no, there's no bullshit in there. It's barley, hops, water, and yeast, or something. Uh, so yeah, as I say, 500ml bottle, 4.9%, coming at about £1.70 from Marks and Spencers. There's the label, typical sort of German style label. I do love a bottle cap with some artwork on. I do like that. can never get this in view because somehow the camera seems to focus on me. God knows why, because I'm an ugly fucker. So uh, yeah, let's get on with the review. Get it in a glass and see what we get. Also, then if you notice there, uh, ribbed on there is Powell Anna on the bottle, so a nice, mm -hmm. nice bottle. This is the sort of style glass you're supposed to serve it in. So uh, let's get it in the glass, see what we get. I gotta admit, I, I may end up being biased with this, but I do love a German lager. They are just, just the taste of them are just just the best for me and I'm getting a whiff straight away real malty in a glass it is very clear crystal clear good levels of carbonation there's no uh, nucleated thing on the bottom straw in color finger of foamy head uh, yeah, looks pretty much as I expected. The only difference would have been if I'd poured it a bit more vigorous, I would have had a bigger head on it. But uh, yeah, looks as I expected. So let's get a nose on it. Oh, spicy lemon. I say spicy, spicy pepperiness. Uh, lemon, bready, biscuity from the malts. It... <sighs> Such a simple style, but it's done so well that you can pick everything out just instantly like that. Yeah, it just it just does exactly what it says on the bottle. You know what I mean? It's German. It 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 does what it should do. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. So cheers, everyone. Yeah, that's that's carbonation is almost non-existent. Not not non-existent, but there's enough in there. Not that it's going to gas you up, uh, but it's a nice mouthfeel. Taste-wise, again, lags are very simple. But first thing I got from the first mouthful was the peppery, the spiciness in there. And to be honest, I've got everything from the first mouthful, but I've explained the first mouthful, taking the second mouthful, I'm going to tell you the rest, but I've got it, got it all from the first mouthful. Spicy pepperiness from the first mouthful, taking the second one, you're getting the lemon in there, uh, and then you're getting the breadiness that just, just gives it that bit of a sweetness. It's not over sweet though. You know, I've had a lot of these sort of 
German style lagers they tend to be quite sweet but this is yeah the sweetness comes comes through a little bit more the more you drink it but just what a great beer what a great a great lager I, I, they they really put England to shame for lagers uh, not that I've had a lot of British lagers or craft breweries that are doing British lagers so I may be being a bit harsh on some breweries but for the usual shit that we're served up in this country you know and I'll, the £1.73 for a fiver I mean at £2.50 you'd happily pay for that uh, decent lager like this Christ you'd happily pay four quid for in a pub to be honest good body to the beer you can tell it's that little bit heavier in your mouth 4.9 percent it's not far off it it's not far off it you, you know you've got to accept that you are drinking a certain percentage of beer when you're drinking them 4.9 yeah probably it's somewhere around that mark but it's very easy to drink lovely uh, peppery spiciness to it lovely lemon sort of hints in there and a nice bready sweet bready malt in there but very subtle sweetness in there uh, it's a cracking beer and if I'm you know if I'm totally honest you can buy your car then you can buy your fosters and your cases and a fucking thingy for a 10 12 quid give me half a dozen of these i'd rather go and spend a tenner on six of these than go and buy have 18 cans of some horrible watery pissy shit that's like 3.8 percent four percent that is a good quality beer it's well worth the money no doubt a lot of you guys out there have had that but if you haven't and you've got an M&S near you get that in you three for a fiver it's an absolute bargain uh, if you're not keen on the vice beers or other stuff just pick three of them up in fact pick six of them up for a tenner bloody hell bargain where are you going to get six pints or six nigh on six pints for a tenner so yeah highly recommended would I buy it again without a doubt it's a great beer uh, so if you're in m and pick one up uh, feel free to comment if you've had it before let me know what you think or slate me in the comments whatever uh, thanks for watching everyone like share subscribe all that bollocks that I normally come out with <coughs> whatever you're drinking tonight enjoy I'm going to enjoy having this no doubt I'll come back in a bit uh, with another beer review and uh that would go up, but I'll see you again on another one. So cheers, guys.